winning way from nine. Yes, nine attack dogs. I was on a TV program called Release the Hounds in 2013, where at the end of the show, we actually had to run away from nine attack dogs. This is real. Now, there's a lot of things behind the scenes before the show that no one knows about that I really want to share with you guys. This program is resurfacing again on Dave TV and UK TV. So I'm getting messages from some of my friends saying they've just seen me on TV again. Now, what the show is like, it's kind of like Saw the movie. We had to do crazy weird tasks like horror tasks like in these woods in the middle of nowhere and honestly i will tell you all about it it was it was actually really scary to do now this is me on the show with my friend frankie and my brother ashley and there was the amazing host called reggie yates who was actually awesome in person by the way to release the hound even though he made me do this scream live because i used to scream in my old band thanks for that still reggie reggie yates now, one thing I can say about Reggie, he is actually awesome in person. He stayed, I think we filmed from, I think it was about 11 in the morning to about 4 a.m. the next day. He was on this radio to us the whole way through. Now, the aim for these challenges is to find these keys that are hidden in these, like, saw-like horror challenges through these challenges that are in the woods, and there's three of them. Now, the longer we take on the challenge, the shorter the distance gets between us and these non-attack dogs. When I say non-attack dogs, by the way, I mean massive dogs. When I when they walk you beside them just before you do the run, these dogs are huge. They are trained attack dogs to tackle people down. So I thought, oh, they're going to be little puppies. They were not. They look like wolves, for God's sake. Now, the thing that they don't show on TV is, see, we turn up in this bug van, right? The night before, right? They put us in a five-star hotel. We all had our own, like, massive room. It was incredible. Gave us, like, a five-star dinner meal. Wined and dined us, right? Just to get us, like, out of the, what we actually knew we were doing. We were like, okay, okay, this is fine. Wake up the next day. We met the producer. She was lovely, really nice. Uh, we got in the car with her. And as we're driving towards set, this is what we showed you. This is no joke. A, a van screeches in front of us in front of the road where everyone's got balaclavas on you can't see them and they're like go 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 get out go and they're like screaming at us they drag us out of the car fall on drags out of the car bag our heads throw us in the back of this van they're basically just putting us in in the in the moment in a sense <laughs> none of it was staged and they full on kept us in the zone as you can see they just said go into the forest just follow the arrows and stuff you couldn't even see where the cameras were they had them all hidden they had dogs on chains just like tied up they had actors like dressed in horrible like horror outfits that would just jump out on us away from the camera like they kept keeping this in the zone where they weren't even filming now on the first challenge here it was in a horrible smelling bunker this bunker stank because it was like rotten food maggots and we basically had to search for the whole thing as quick as we can to find key as soon as we found the key the timer stopped so your distance doesn't carry on now prior to the show we had to do a uh, test to see who's the fastest runner uh and i was the fastest runner so we wanted to save me for last my brother and frankie kind of went back and forth who was going to do it but we decided to send my brother on the first one uh, the only part of the challenge that you didn't do was eating the soup so ash would you like to start lee are you kidding are you for real just kidding you haven't got it <laughs> now one thing that happens as soon as you've done that challenge uh, my brother ash goes you don't see him again he disappears get out <laughs> what that was me oh now, my brother went on the first run, and he was actually petrified. This is the thing he didn't want to do the most. He was actually so scared about this. And you can see how big and angry these dogs were. They, like I said, they, they make you purposely go and put the money right in front of these dogs. They've been trained to go for the, the bag, because that's what they've been trained to do. We spoke to loads of the contestants, uh, the other contestants afterwards. Loads of them, some pe loads of people got uh, caught in the arm, uh, cuts and, and all sorts. But like I said, we all signed waivers, so it was fine. My brother goes for the run now, and uh, let's see how he does with a lead of 79 meters over the house. How fast will he be now? Come on, man. <laughs> Every time I see how my bro flops over that wall, it kills me, man. But yes, my bro got the way he gets over the wall. But yeah, my bro got the way. So Ash managed to bag us three grand right there. But we obviously still had the two of the chests. I mean, Frankie was still in the woods. And this next challenge was a little bit too much for Frankie. Now, this challenge was full on out of a Saw movie. Like, there was like raining blood. <laughs> 
there was eels in the in the in the what you call it in the shower kind of bathtub thing thank god frankie because she worked out to take the towel off the wall she found the locker uh she was like the brains of, of mo both the challenges i think she got it my where my worry was if she was wasn't running the next one i was going to be doing the last one on my own in the forest which by the way i hate forests they're scared i mean we decided she would go uh and do the run on this one <laughs> Now, if we thought Ash was bad, I promise you, Frankie was really, really not in the state to do this. This was going to be hard for Frankie. Let's see how she does, guys. Let's give it a watch. She has a 68-meter head start to try and win £6,000. Yeah, unfortunately, Frankie got taken down. So that means we lost the six grand there. Uh, but like I said, you can understand at this point, it's it's exhausting. And now the, the thing that goes on further from here is Ash is still in that van. Honestly, he had to sit in that van for hours and hours. Remember, there's no phone, nothing, right? But I was the one still in the forest at like 1 a.m. Wet, cold as hell, not spoke to anyone. I can't see anyone. They're just saying, walk for the forest, follow the arrows. That's it. School. You see these people that are like approach, approaching me and they're all like dressed up. They were dressed up horrible, by the way. You made me think, well, surely you could just see them walking up. You can't. When this wood is pitch black and you're underneath this giant spotlight, you can't see past the beams. <laughs> but the worst part, right? When they drop this powder on me, at the moment, you can see I look up. And as I look up, it goes directly down my throat. Now, I, I literally made my mouth so dry. I thought it was going to throw up. It was horrible. <clears throat> Now, here's something I can tell you, which obviously was an ad. When that happened, I said, oh, my God, that's so much the C words. And afterwards, the producer said it was said they were cracking up at that in the office. And they said, obviously, we can't air that. I was going a bit of a fear and loathing Las Vegas kind of thing there. <laughs> Now, I had to find X on the floor and obviously add it to the 206, right? You got to remember, like I said, this is this was about 3 a.m. by this point. We've been shooting since 11 a.m. And the, the, the mental state they put us through, my head was gone. It was easy maths, but I absolutely was just like, uh, but then you could see me clock myself and have a go at myself about it. But yeah, I end up getting it in the end and then I have to open the table and, well, you'll see what's inside. Ah, Oh, off. This is the key. Now, at this point, I was very disappointed because I'd known I'd taken so long. I had more cash, so I had more pressure on my shoulders. So, yeah, wasn't so pleased. But one thing I've got to say about my dog run, I was actually really excited to do it. The only thing I didn't want was how tired I was. As you can see, I'm covered in this powder my jeans are still wet it was it wasn't the state i wanted to be in the distance i had was not the distance i wanted either so i wasn't as excited as i was when i started it so i had 72 meters which is not far at all yeah let's see how this goes <laughs> <laughs> yes you can see i just did it literally i'm so close the dog if you notice actually bit the bag but it ripped the bag strap but i threw the bag over and myself over the wall thank god because if that dog uh, grabbed the bag and pulled it back i would have lost the money in it but i would have got over the wall so thank god i kind of like tumble rolled with it but yes i still had no idea at this point if frankie had made it if my brother had made it we didn't know they didn't get they didn't keep us in the loop so at this point like this, that you'll see now is like this is pure natural reaction to seeing my brother as we know by this point my brother in the van we both didn't know uh, the best thing behind the scenes which i love 
loved after this was Frankie said he was like, well, you know, uh, you and your brother should just uh, take the money and just you know, leave Frankie. And I was like, oh, I can't believe he said it. He was like, yeah, you and your brother should just go to Vegas and spend the money.